What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're taking a look at the epic Manchester United players that they released on the 16th of February. So we've got Diego Forlan, Dennis Law and Sigi Kagwa. So these three guys, in fairness, they aren't, look, they're not game changers in my opinion, but there are some very decent stats had by these guys, right? Especially uh, Kagawa, I think he's an unbelievable player. If you don't have a top class AMF, he will do a really good job for you. You can train him up in multiple different ways. We're going to give you a training guide, recommended training guide, depending on your play style. Two options per player, as we do. And uh, Diego Forlan is obviously a beast as well with the boost. So, um, yeah, we're going to start uh, with Kagawa, right? Kagawa, Kagawa. 23 years of age, so he'll fit into a youth squad if you have that. Um, but you won't get many, you know, like XP. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Unwavering form, he's on B rating as an epic player. And this is where it gets interesting with his stats, right? So they have released a lot of really good attacking midfielders over the last couple of weeks. You know, you had Guti, Zico, Simmons. Um, we have a couple of players like, you know, that are standard players that have got good club icon versions like Verratti who can play that central midfield role that all seem to have been gearing the gameplay towards very good type possession, ball control and dribbling. And I'm going to do a video on that. I have two videos lined up that are going to be I think game changing for the way that V2.4 is playing and I'm going to tell you why as I do the video but anyway for this review this is how we're going to train Kagawa right he's got really nice stats the one thing I like about him is he has one touch pass true passing and weighted pass but he also has double touch and heel trick which are my two favorite trick moves to do so if I did get him uh, I would be very very happy right but we're going to train him up if you are looking for a, tradi a traditional number 10 to link everything. If you're playing a 4-5-1 or if you're playing a 4-3-3 with an AMF, a CMF and a DMF, I think Kagwa needs to be able to have a fine mix of passing acceleration and explosive dribbling, right? So we've gone with 5 into shooting just to keep the opponents guessing. We might as well throw a few into there. If you don't shoot a lot with your AMFs or you don't cut in and shoot a lot or you don't, you know, shoot ever really apart from like uh you know tapping the ball in or scoring from different routes you can take away all those shooting ones and keep the curl at 80 it's not going to make a massive difference i personally would probably put up depending on how you play him i would like to have him as my main kind of guy being able to shoot as well the curl the 85 curl is going to be key but if we want to have seven points there we don't need to get that in uh too far because obviously he's going to be just sitting into the pocket and just be spreading the ball as best as we possibly can so if you're going that route i would definitely think that you should try and get this up to eight this up to eight and then this up to 12 so dexterity to 12 lower body you're not going to be bursting around the pitch with kagawa if you are you're playing him wrong in my opinion because he's never going to have huge stamina or huge speed no matter what you do you want explosiveness you've got tight possession 93 You've also got ball control 90, acceleration 91, and balance 91. Everything that you could want from an AMF, right? So I'm going to do an alternatives video on these as well. They actually have some really good standard standard alternatives um, that link up with Kagawa quite well. Um, let me see who we're going to go to next. It is going to be the big time epic Diego. One of my favorite players for United when he played actually. Even though he wasn't the best player, I think he kind of was one of those players that you loved. You know, because he was very different, right? He's got some nice stats as well. Obviously, all these players have the team play style proficiency of 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. So if you are a newcomer to the game, that basically means that they will play and adapt to any formation or any manager, any tactic, any play style, right? Older players and standard players, you need to train that team play style proficiency. For long-term players, you will know that. So Forland does actually have unwavering form as well, which is quite tasty. The Uruguayan has B rating as well as an epic and he also has some very nice stats, right? So even though he's a goal poacher, this is what I like about Forlan, right? He's long-range curler, long-range shooting, but he's also got one-touch pass, true pass, and weighted pass, and dipping shot. So he's got a lot of nice player skills there. He doesn't have any dribbling player skills, which is why we need to boost up his dribbling a lot with this player build that we're doing. So my recommended training guide for him is very different, I think, than anybody else's I've seen. He also does have long ball expert early crosser, and long ranger so there's a lot of stuff going on with this card um and he also has what i saw earlier as well was knuckle shot um which is quite decent and weighted pass is very nice and one touch pass is very nice for this card as well right but here's where we get into the main part right with the boost so we're going to get the three uh level play style boost that'll bring it up to 97 overall if you've got your team play style at 100 overall but this is one way of training him, right? 
I think dribbling has gone super important in V2.4, but you can get away with slightly less dribbling. This is an all-round version of Forlan. I think that's kind of similar to Romario. If you're looking for a player that's similar to Romario with the way that he plays, slightly clunkier than Romario, but he is going to be able to bang you goals in. He's kind of like a faster in Zaggy, is how I would put him, right? If you are okay and you're comfortable enough with dribbling, you can just leave that. Once it's over 80, that is kind of the sweet point, I think, for V2.4. And then if you get to that, I would pump in the rest into this, right? So we'll go 12 into that, and then we could even put one more into there if we want to, if that's how you want to do it. So you'd have 90 offensive awareness, 89 acceleration with 88 balance, 81 speed, not a massive priority, but we also have the 87 finishing, 80 dribbling, 82 ball control, and 80 tight possession. If you're struggling to kind of control the ball and stuff with other strikers that you have, he goes up to 95 overall here, but if you're struggling to... Um, adapt to the new v2.4 gameplay i definitely think you should look at training your players up a little bit more um you know with the dribbling to the forefront and bring that up as high as you can because it does make a difference and i will get into a video as to why it makes a difference in v2.4 coming very soon and last but not least we do have dennis law now first looking at dennis law you're thinking right a lot of people won't remember that dennis law was one of the best goal scorers ever in the premier league or in the old premiership or the old english league he played, I think, as well for Manchester United and City. And he was an absolutely insane goal scorer. He does have standard form, which is a bit of a pity. And this is from the 64-65 season. So we're going back quite a while here, lads. We're going back a long, long time when, we, when this guy was in his prime. So for a lot of younger fans, you probably won't have remembered Dennis Law. But I'm sure you will remember him if you go into Google and YouTube and you look at some of the goals he scored, if you can get good footage of him. But Dennis Law, again, 31 levels to go, which is quite decent. And he's got a really nice mixture of stats, man. Look at these for stats, right? Long range shooting is huge. Rising shot is huge. Heading, even though for his height, he is going to get on the end of balls. First time shot, one touch pass, true pass, and heel trick, acrobatic finishing. They've massively boosted acrobatic finishing. So that is going to come to the fore there as well. 90 jumping, 84 offensive awareness, and 79 acceleration straight off the rip. We also have 79... Um, finishing which we're going to be boosting up as well right so when we look at this card here this is the, the version of him that i would go for you're talking about eight into shooting two into passing 10 into dribbling 12 into dexterity and four into lower body you'll see a lot of my training guides going forward will have a lot of stats into dribbling and i will get into that at a later date right but still with this 96 offensive awareness is massive also with 91 acceleration 80 balance 80 stamina and then we've rounded it off with 86 finishing and 80 speed. So the form is a slight concern with the standard form, but it's not a huge one because he's always on B. But that is it for the Manchester United pack, lads. I will be doing an alternatives. If you are staying free to play, we will be having an excellent alternative to Forland Law and Senji Kagawa. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions for other videos like that. But until next time, lads, I'm going to spin right now. We're going to spin our coin. And hopefully we're going to get Dennis Law or Forlan here right off the rip, right live while we're doing it. The chances are super, super slim and the chances are zero. We'll get nobody, lads. Our luck is in the toilet. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Who do we get? Crystal Palace, Anderson. Okay, the new, new player that they've bought, 76 overall. So, lads, that is it for me. That was my free spin that we got from the event. I will be doing another video quite soon. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.